Okay everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gasifier Builders Workshop. So today what we're going to do, I've got a new gasifier here ready to go out to the customer. We're going to do a test fire on this gasifier. I thought I'd do a little video uh, on that, on the process and the test fire. So this uh, gasifier has been completed, leak tested, it's all ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run, fire it up and run through a test fire. So when we ship the uh, gas fires, we provide uh, a reduction uh, reduction tube and uh, choke plate of different size. So this particular one is a four inch. And the nice thing about this is design is we can add or change the choke plate. So on this one, I'm going to do this test run. I'm going to put a three inch choke plate on top. It's not going to generate as much gas as it would with a larger choke plate. Um, when we do these, uh, ship these gas fires, um, we include uh, warning stickers. I didn't put the warning sticker on it. We'll let the customer put the warning stickers on where he wants. We also include an operator's manual that's got the startup, operation, shutdown, uh, maintenance information in there as well. So uh, what we're going to do here before we fire it up, we're going to run through a, uh, a startup uh, pre-checklist. So one of the first things we're going to do is make sure we've got the proper fuel. So what I'm going to do here, you can see primarily charcoal, and then we can have wood chunks. For the test fire, I'm recommending just use charcoal. Uh, once you learn how to uh, make gas and you get some experience with it, then you can add some of the raw wood on top of the charcoal. But for while you're initially learning how to run it and operate it, I suggest you just uh, start with charcoal, and it makes things a little bit easier. So as far as the startup checklist, we want to do first thing we want to do is make sure that all the ports are closed. So the We've got the uh, ignition port closed, the clean out ports are closed. We want to make sure that the lids are on and secured. Uh, nothing's open. We want to make sure that the blower valve is open and the secondary port is closed. We want to make sure that the other clean out ports in the back are closed. The auxiliary ports are closed, so there's basically no other way for air to get into the system. Okay, and then. Then the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to add the fuel. We're going to start off by filling it up with charcoal. So basically down here in the hearth area, from about here to here minimum with charcoal. Uh, what I'm recommending is just fill the whole thing up with charcoal. But for our test run, we'll probably just fill it up to about here with charcoal. And then I'm going to go through a manual start. We'll take off the ignition port. And what I'll do, I'll turn on the blower. And then I'm going to use this torch, propane torch, to light it. You basically have three options to start it. Uh, you can do the manual like with the, I'm doing with the torch. You can add a glow plug, which one of the auxiliary ports in the back. You can put a standard glow plug in here. And that goes into the hearth area. And then just wire onto the switch box. I use a momentary switch. I don't have a momentary switch in here for a glow plug. But you could wire one of these switches to the glow plug. So when you turn it on, it's going to hit the glow plug uh, glow and then uh, with the blower on that will ignite the charcoal inside and then your third option would be to use the automated control system which is going to do that glow plug start automatically for you uh, as soon as you turn the power on but we're going to go through a manual start with this uh, switch box down here you see I've got two switches the top switch is going to be for the uh, great motor the bottom switch is going to be for the uh, blower and then I've got a uh, speed control switch for the blower uh, if you want to control the speed Normally you would use a battery to power it, but for this test I'm just going to use a 12 volt power supply to run our test. I've got the filter basket already installed with all the filter media in it, so it's pretty well ready to go. Next thing I need to do here is we'll go ahead and put some fuel in it, and then we'll go through and fire it up. Alright, here we go. Okay, so... We've got the fuel, went ahead and loaded the fuel so you can see down in there. I've got about a half a reactor full of uh, charcoal in there for the test. So what we'll do now, we'll go ahead and close it up. Turn on our thermocouple so we can monitor the temperature. 
can see you here we've got our our blower valve is open so it's ready to go so now what I need to do is just come in here uh, turn on the power turn on the great motor turn on the blower you can hear the blower going okay so now I just need to come take off the Mission port, sight glass. there see it's lit there are sight glass back on now as it's coming up to temperature you see here we're already 98 100 104 it's going to come up to temperature pretty quick what we'll notice is the gas will be coming out of here. On this is a cold start, so when we do a cold start, uh, there'll be some smoke that'll come out until it gets up to temperature. So what we'll do, typically within three to five minutes, uh, we'll have flammable gas. So during that time, what we'll do is we'll we'll keep testing it. So here, as you see, we're starting to get some smoke, a little bit of smoke. We'll keep testing the gas. I said, we'll let that run for a little bit. Keep coming back and testing it. Once the gas ignites and will stay lit, then we've got usable gas. And from there, we could close the valve to the blower. We can turn the blower off, and then we can open up the secondary port. I typically put a two inch ball valve on there going out to the engine. But the main thing in this test is we're just going to fire it up, make sure that it's burning and it's creating flammable gas. So we're not quite there yet, so we'll check back in a few minutes and once we get some flammable gas. see the flame in the daylight, but we've got good flame. So we're up to temperature, we're good to go.